Well, this is a special uh, episode of Coffee Talk because it's happening on a Saturday. But there's a reason for that I will get to in a minute. So, first things first though, the coffee. Today's coffee. Hold on a second. Sorry, my daughter wanted to know if we got any grapes. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> um, anyway, so today's coffee today is, um, it's by Wolfgang Puck. It's called Breakfast in Bed. And I thought, oh, that sounds like it's going to be so good. So I've let the coffee cool down a little bit because <laughs> um, last time I burnt my tongue. And y'all know what that feels like. It's just it's a f funny feeling. So where I just, just put just a little bit of heavy cream in it. That's pretty good. It's, uh, I mean, it, there's nothing, no, nothing against Wolfgang, but, uh, it, there's nothing extra special about it. Like, there's no extra flavor or hint of anything, um, but it is a really good, like, breakfasty kind of diner coffee, it, like, some really good morning coffee. That would be a good, like, first thing in the morning kind of. Yeah, it's good. It doesn't feel real heavy. Um, it's probably a light to medium roast. I didn't really look. I just looked at the name. I don't ever pay attention to light roast, dark roast, whatever. That doesn't really mean too much to me, but there you go. Wolfgang Puck, breakfast in bed. Yeah, I'd drink it again. It's pretty good. It's a good uh, first thing in the morning kind of thing. So, here we go. I saw something that has kind of inspired me a little bit, um, but... I forgot to talk about it in the beginning of the month. So, um, it's, uh, basically, I think it was Bath and Body Works on Instagram. They posted this July to-do to -do list. Um, and I'm gonna post the picture of that right now. Okay, so, um... If for whatever reason you can't read it or didn't want to pause it. Um, so basically it's a list of 12 things. And the ones I've done. And well, number one, bake a pie. Uh, I have yet to do that. Uh, two is have a picnic. Uh, I have yet to do that. <laughs> Three, read a book. That's probably not getting done. Four, spend a day poolside. Um, I think I have one friend that has a pool. <laughs> Maybe if, if that counts, I can do that. Number five, pick some fresh flowers. Number six, take a road trip. So we have definitely gone on a couple road trips already in the month of July. So that one's checked off. Um, make a summer playlist. Okay, this is the thing about being 37 and living in 2020. They do playlists now, and I'm still, like, burning CDs. <laughs> I'm still making my own CDs. Dude, it's, I don't know, there's something exciting about it. Like, how's it going to turn out kind of thing. And, um, so yeah, so I have already made myself, like, a driving summer jams. So, that one's checked off. Um, switch up your phone wallpaper. I've already done that. Yes. And actually, I will include that picture now. Isn't that cute? I, I just absolutely love that picture. Um, okay, so, number nine, plan a summer staycation, which I think we're doing at the end of the month. So it still counts. Um, number ten, and this is why I am nixing Songs with Mel Saturday today to do a Coffee Talk episode, because it says Celebrate Ice Cream Day, which is tomorrow, July 19th. So I wanted to give you guys a whole day to, you know, prepare a day ahead of time because I didn't do this in the beginning of the month. Tomorrow is ice cream day. So, you, you know, you got to get some ice cream. You just got to. And I'm thinking for me, I'm thinking of some soft serve because I'm like all about the soft serve right now. <laughs> Summertime comes, I want soft serve ice cream. I'll do the other flavored stuff later in the year, but 
Right now, I want soft serve ice cream because that's a summertime thing for me. So, I will be making sure one way or another that I'm getting some <laughs> some ice cream tomorrow. Um, and number uh, eleven, go on a date night, which uh, we just did last night. So, there you go. Um, and, but we can always try and go on another one, you know, before the end of July. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> and number 12, make time for self-care. This one I got excited about earlier in the month. And I, um, well, hold on a second. I'll go, I'll just go show you. All right, so, <clears throat> like two Avon orders ago, <laughs> um, my Avon lady slipped a little sample of this, uh, this a new vitamin C, um, it was some kind of like face moisturizer. So I went to look it up on in the catalog to order order it, and I saw this. It is a warming peel exfoliant. Okay, and uh, I thought you were supposed to leave it on. You know it says peel. Um, actually, no. You're supposed to smooth over your face, avoiding your eyes, of course, and massage it gently for up to two minutes. Rinse well with cool water and experience a warming sensation. So, I used it at the end of my tubby yesterday. And I did not rinse with cool water, but let me tell you something. As soon as I started moving it around on my skin, it warmed up and it felt so good. And I rinsed it, and that was, okay, so normally, and this is gross, but I'm just being real. Normally, what happens when I get out of the tub or the shower, once everything starts drying, then I've got dry skin up here, here, and here, okay? And I don't know when that happened, because I think, like, in my late 20s, early 30s is when that, that stuff started happening, and I'm like, you know, not a fan. Um... Because I used to have, like, a really awesome... I don't have, like, a broke-out complexion, but now I'm having some issues, right? So I thought, all right, I'm going to buy some stuff for my face so I can take care, self-care, right? And, um, and so I got out, and it's still, like, next day, you know, next day, it's still really, like, you can't feel it because <laughs> you're looking at it, but it feels awesome. And so there's that. And then I tried a new scent of lotion. Um, this is fresh bergamot and wild mint. Oh my word, this stuff smells so good. It just, it's so light and fresh and clean. And when you put it on, you just feel like, like you took a bath in something natural and organic and beautiful. <laughs> And then, um, I did get some more sunscreen, uh, and this one has, like, aloe or something in it. Oh, vitamin E and aloe. So, that's taking care. That's self-care, right? You gotta make sure you're not burning your flesh. And then, the other thing, and just to be honest, I really just bought this for the coffee tumbler. <laughs> I bought it for the coffee tumbler. But... Um, it came with this, uh, belief. This is, so this is like a face moisturizer. And then it came with this, which is, um, it like wipes away, you know, makeup and stuff. But I don't really wear too much makeup, so uh, it's a good thing it's a small tube, because, um, that's probably about how much I'll ever need. <laughs> but this one is going to be the next thing that I try. So I'm doing, you know, we'll start with the head and we'll work our way down and we'll just, you know, continue the self-care the whole way. Um, you know, and so, yeah, so that's my, that's my thing. I've been excited about this list. So I've got a few things checked off and there's a few things that I have yet to work on. <laughs> um, but there you go. So, you know, you guys, it's only, 
the 18th today. You still have until the 31st. You can get a good bit of those done. I challenge you to try and get as much done as you can until the end of the month. Because they really, there's stuff that like makes you feel good. Even the, you know, just a little bit of change. Just a little bit of something different that's exciting and makes you feel good. Alright, that's it for this special episode of Coffee Talk. Get your ice cream tomorrow. <laughs> and, you know, they have, you know, dairy-free ice cream out there. You gotta just look for it. But, um, so all across the board, get your ice cream. <laughs> Enjoy your ice cream. If you did get ice cream, feel free to comment after you eat it on this video and tell me what kind of ice cream you got, because I'm curious. Alright. See you guys. Love you. Nothing but good vibes. Have a great day.